Good morning. I am reporting from Atec TV. My name is Eugenia Modoni. I know you're asking where we are, but we are at Gedongori, where today we are going to, to celebrate the Farmers Field Day by the courtesy of Dairy Fresh Brands. Now, most of you know what about you're going to do, and we are covering live on today for the Farmers Field Day, where we have different products. We have poultry, we have farmers from the pig farming, we have different categories, we have products being sold, and we are going to interact with one of the, some of them, some of the farmers. They are going to showcase their things. Well, while you can see how whatever is going on, we have different tents that is the tents that are producing their products also we want to tell you that our president today is going to be here he will be coming in, in a few but before that we need to interact with some of the farmers to showcase their products we have different products here we have for the poultry we have for the chicken we have for the cows and also we have for the pig and so much more we are going to interact with them I will be talking to you all all the way from the start to the end of this event and today marks the event that is the last day they are we had two days that is from the 16th and 17th and today our president will be here and he'll be addressing us all so please do not be late interact with me as I interact with other interviewers and other interviewees so that they can tell us what they think and about this day and what are their expectations stay tuned thank you Welcome back. As I had told you, we are going to interact with one of the interviewees that is one of the farmers. He is going to tell us more about his products and whatever he's going to sell today and what are his expectations for today. Basically, Cosmos is a pharmaceutical company, which is a, it's a general manufacturing company for Manuf uh, manufacturing coming for pharmaceutical, both human and veterinary. I am here to represent the veterinary department where we are doing a manufacturing of uh, poultry veterinary drugs. We are doing veterinary dewormers for large animals. We are also doing uh, dewormers for small pets. I've heard the president is going to be here just in, uh, I don't know for how long, but he will be here. So what are your expectations for this day? The expectation of my expectation from president, let him address the farmers. Let him tell what the farmer want to hear. Let him give the information that cut across the livestock husbandry as a whole. And when I talk about livestock husbandry, I mean the products which entails height and skin, milk, meat, beef, even the whole livestock export. Yes, breeds. That is why farmers are here. They want to hear all those informations. Yes. Hello. Yes, how are you? I'm good. Please tell us your name. Uh, my name is John Gadogo. I'm the CEO of this great company, Empire Feeds Limited, uh, that we manufacture animal feeds. That is all types of livestock feeds and poultry. That is for dairy, uh, layers, broilers, and uh, pig feeds. We have uh, the cows from uh, semi-arid areas. Does this your product favor them? Ah, yes. We have what we do. We have uh, special. Uh, I mean, feed for different regions. Like now, the north, uh, northern part of this country, or semi-arid areas of Kajiado, northeastern, and all that. We have a special diet that is now for the uh, for, for the dry areas that is like uh, what you call livestock mills and uh, survival mills because basically what they are looking for is actually uh, money, uh, what you call uh, for survival because what happens when it's very dry you find like uh, the livestock don't have anything to feed on so usually we have a special formulation for maintenance like we call it maintenance and for fattening because there are those semi areas that are also practicing uh, uh, bull farming and uh, the ranches. So we have a special feed for them uh, for that specific need. Yes. Oh, today is the farmer's field day. What is your expectations for this day? Uh, today we are very excited and particularly because this is the first time that the Great Day is actually organizing such a forum. Uh, there is a lot of interest. 
because I think we are having almost uh, more, more than 20,000 farmers who have already attended this show. And uh, we are very happy in interacting with the farmers because uh, that's when we realize whether what we are doing is actually whether beneficial to the farmer and whether we need to, to, to do better than we are doing. And the feedback we are getting is very good because it actually tells us uh, that uh, we are doing the right things and the farmer is happy with the product. Well, the day is going on fine. Today is the farmer's field day. And as you can see, I'm here at AgriPark Seeds. I'm going to interact with the CEO to tell us more about these AgriPark Seeds. My names are Peter Keiro. Uh, I work with Kenagro Supplies Limited and uh, the department and uh, the seed department uh, by the name AgriPark Seeds. Uh, we basically do improved seeds, the hybrid ones and the local ones, uh, so that uh, every farmer will feel well represented and we offer the best solution to every farmer, no matter what the price or how much you wish to spend on seeds, you have, we have something for you. So uh, today we are at uh, Gedongori Stadium. We are thankful to Fresh Aderis who have welcomed us to this uh, event and uh, we've met a lot of farmers, we are so grateful for them. And uh, for this event, uh, we mainly capture the highland crops, we are having a lot of cabbages, carrots, gorgets at a good price. And um, we are happy that most of the farmers who are visiting at our plot and are happy that previously who had bought from us are happy about the product. Eh? So our motto is always partnering with farmers. Yes. Farmers, or rather the person who is selling this product so that you can tell us more about this Gen X. Hello. Excuse me. Yes. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm okay. Please tell us your name. Uh, my name is Dr. Niki Omolo. I'm a veterinary surgeon by profession, uh, working for Atlantis Life Science Limited. It's basically a research and pharmaceutical company here in Kenya. Wow. Doctor, please tell us more about this Gen X. Um, basically, we are here to talk to farmers. And uh, basically, with Atlantis Life Science, we have come to realize that many farms have quite a number of challenges. They have one basic, um, a basic interest, and that is in farm productivity, or increasing farm productivity, or farm economics. They have so many challenges because they use a lot of uh, resources to be able to you know, plow into the business, but the returns are quite limited. So as Atlantis Life Science, we have come with a technique or a technology whereby we are trying to see how we can reduce the cost of production so that the farmers are able to maximize on their, on their profits. So that way we are trying to see how we can be able to sort out the issue of, um, uh, the issue of, uh, how do you say it, uh, the issue of um, sustenance or sustainability of a farm and also being able to take care of the livelihood and also, of course, uh, you know, take, take care of the families and all the needs of the farmer. So that is what we are really, really, really uh, targeting, basically. Well, the event is going on so well, but before we go to the event, yeah. please tell us more about your products. Yeah, basically, uh, Atlantis Life Science, we have uh, a range of four main products. We have the range of animal nutrition, which basically is that, that that's what has brought us here. We have the range of animal health that touches on animal diseases, and that is prevention or preventive medicine. We have the range of public health, and we also have the range of poultry. So we have, in, in every kind of category, we are coming up with unique solutions that are basically trying to see how the farmers can maximize on their profits and also try to reduce on their costs by trying to also be able to reduce on what you call indiscriminate usage of antimicrobials. Yeah. Do you mind showing us this, this product? So Absolutely. That, yes. Absolutely. So uh, I'll begin from right here. Uh, we have the technology that targets to you know, sort out the issue of negative energy balance. We find out when the cow just calves down, they normally have a challenge with appetite. So this is normally physiological and you cannot do anything about it. What would mean that basically if something is not done, or probably if there's no any intervention, then these cows will continue with, the, with that state of negative energy balance, and therefore they're going to have an issue basically with production and also fertility. 
So, so with this white energy, this cow, you can this calf would be able to grow very fast to reach the adult weight and the correct weight at first service. So that means that we are targeting to ensure that every cow or every calf reaches that 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 age early enough and be able to give you a calf in less than two years, in less than 24 months. So if you have retardation, then you're not able to achieve that target. And we see a dairy farmer works with the targets. So that is what now Campbell's targets to do. Wow, amazing. I'd also like to ask you, how about the animals that live, or rather the cows that live in semi-arid regions? Do you have their products which can favor them? Absolutely, absolutely. We found out like in the past uh, couple of months before we had the rains, there was a very, very big uh, issue with the drought. And uh, so many farmers and uh, contacted us on the way forward. So like I was telling you initially about uh, the innovation of uh, instant energy, uh, in innovation of uh, the, the, the issue of negative energy balance. Mainly what normally happens when we have a lot of, um, you know, under supply of feeds, then the cows are not able to get enough energy from the feeds. So they have to basically work from the reserves of their own body. So as they act on the reserves or as they mobilize the reserves, then you see their body condition score reduces. So that's why literally when you go to the semi-arid areas, you know that most of the cows that are so emaciated, that are so thin, because they have utilized. Wow, we are here at the farming sector and I am going to interact with one of the trainers here and he will going to tell us more about this farming system. Hello. Hi. How are you? Fine, thank you. Please tell us your name. My name is Fidelis Giteru. I'm from Fresher Dairies or Gedongori Dairy. I work as an extension officer. We train farmers. Today we are hosting uh, an expo, uh, training to train farmers. All the stakeholders are here. We want to train the farmer about the best practices to practice when rearing a dairy cow. Wow, can you tell us more about how to rear a cow or also to, be, I believe the farmers, they're listening, some of them. Please tell us more about how to this, to rear these cows. Thank you very much. Uh, first of all, when you are keeping a dairy cow, there are things you are supposed to look at. One, you are supposed to have enough fodder for the cow, clean, fresh water, and also the cow must be very comfortable the sleeping area, the walking area, and also the structure must be very conducive for the animal to sleep in. We want total comfort for this animal. Minimal walking and also feed to the to full capacity of that animal. Wow, I have also seen in some uh, some sheds of the, of the cow whereby they have the, the steel they go to they do like the for instance if you see the uh part their feces let me use the word feces there yeah. is it that is it hygienic to be or they can just sleep there because i see some of them sleep there and also do their things there is it okay that's that's why we have different areas on this cow shed there is the sleeping cubicle and there is the walking area the cow is not supposed to to defecate at the sleeping cubicle and the dimensions that we used to build this cow shed and the sleeping cubicle ensure that this cow defecate only on the walking area which is supposed to be cleaned twice in a day or as as much as possible you can clean it in the morning and in the evening total hygiene because these are zero grazing unit we want it very clean because the cow will be moving around and also sleeping on the on those cubicles. The cow must be totally clean so that we can produce clean milk. Wow, thank you. So today, as an extension officer, today is a very huge event for you guys. So what are your expectations for this day so far? Uh, so far, so good. And we expect more farmers coming in. We expect to train everybody that will be visiting us. When they come out of Gidungori, go back to their homes, they will be practicing the best dairy farming. We expect also the president to be here. We also expect him to learn from us and we are also expecting him to teach us something because he is also a farmer and we are expecting 
everybody who is around come and visit learn and especially the youth we are encouraging the youth to come in to dairy farming it is the best business so far wow so in terms of the business wise yeah so you can advise for i believe we have young farmers upcoming or, or rather aspiring yeah. farmers what can you uh, what advice can you give them because i know most of us they are looking on the side of the beneficial side what what advice can you tell them uh right now dairy farming is a very big business and milk is being consumed every day every household is consuming milk so these are business a, a young person can venture in and we have a ready market like here in gedongori fresher is buying every produce that the farmer is producing so these are a good business that uh, a young person can venture in and also get get maximum profit yes because we are practicing business dairy farming as a business not for leisure or for show yes wow thank you thank you so much that has been amazing and i wish you all the best as you continue doing the extension officer okay. and speaking of extension officer please tell us to the person i know because some may not be able to be farmers to the young people yes. how about being an extension officer what does it take uh it takes uh training obviously there are institutes that are training extension officers there are there are hitis there is also dairy training institute that is training extension officers there are also in universities you can go do some something to do with agriculture and also dairy farming yes and as uh, when you do dairy dairy and you are an extension officer we expect you also to be a farmer so that you can teach from your experience thank you so much you it has been much. amazing <laughs> thank you very much thank you thank you so much that was our extension officer